Good morning, y'all. Happy Monday, and welcome to Vlogmas Day 13. It's pretty full to the top. I forgot to tell y'all yesterday um, about Single All The Way. I showed y'all that. I watched it. It's on Netflix. It's a um, a gay Christmas movie. It's um, male male. It's a best friends to lovers Christmas movie. It is so cute. Oh my gosh. I laughed. I cried. It was so much fun. Um, Luke McFarlane is in it. He is the... Uh, the the trainer guy James is his name in there. He's he's a um, Actor on like he's he does Hallmark movies. I, I couldn't spit it out. He's usually on ha Hallmark movies But he is um, he is gay and he is out um, But I've never seen him play like an actual uh, Role That fits him, you know, he's always like with another woman in a Hallmark movie So Hallmark needs to like step it up they do have um, the Christmas house. It was, it came on last year. Um, that's, that's Debbie. <laughs> Put it on silent. <laughs> um, it came on last year, but they're having a part two this year. And that is with, um, oh, I, can, I think it's his, his name is Jonathan, I think. Yeah, I can't remember his last name, but he played on Mean Girls. He was the, the hot dude on Mean Girls. Um, He's he's open and gay, and he plays a gay character on this show, on the Christmas, the Christmas House. Um, but is they're like kind of like in the background. I want them to be more in the in the front. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, Single All the Way was so good. I really enjoyed watching Luke McFarlane actually play a role that suits him, uh, and he's so cute. Also, oh, cute ain't the word. He's hot. <laughs> anyway, uh, all the characters were super cute. That I just, I forgot, as I was editing last night, I realized I hadn't told y'all anything about Single All The Way. I, maybe y'all watched it. If y'all haven't, um, do it. Watch it. It's so much fun. So today, like I said, is Monday. Um, not as busy as last Monday, thank goodness. I didn't open up to a bunch of emails and alerts today so that's good but i i do have a busy day i have a lot to get done this week um because i am off next week i uh, i took staycation <laughs> instead of vacation i'll be i'll be staying at home um but i have uh, accumulated a lot of hours like um, our time accumulates like we don't get like set in certain um amount each year our time just accumulates as as we work so, uh, and I have like <clears throat> over 200 hours, um, and we can, we can roll over a certain amount of hours to the next year. Um, so I had to take some time off. So I took next week off and I'm not, I'm not mad about it, but I, that makes me have, um, a lot to try to get done this week. So I'll probably doing, be doing some overtime possibly in order to get everything done. Um, uh, and then I go into the office on Thursday, which she'll probably hand me more work. I'll just do my best, <laughs> do my best to, to get it done or get whatever I can done before next week. But anyway, that's my story of the day. Today I have to, well, I don't have to, but I'd like to get out at lunch. I need to bring back, I need to send back some jeans I ordered off of QVC. It's from the Candace Cameron Beret line. Um, they didn't fit too big. I gotta send them back. I would exchange them for a smaller size, but I really ended up, I don't really like the way they, they look. So I'm just going to return them to QVC. So I'd like to go bring that to the post office today. And I'd like to just maybe go get me a, a lunch somewhere, you know, just to, just to get out. But my uncle next door on the other side of me is putting on a new roof today. <laughs> Um, so there's lots of work trucks blocking the road. So I'm not sure how that's going to work out today. We, we shall see. I'll keep y'all posted. Oh, and I started, um, the Geek Who Saved Christmas last night by Annabeth Albert. I'm only four chapters in, but love it so far.
What? I, I don't even know what to say. I'm not done yet. I still have 24 minutes to go, but I, I needed a break. It's, well, it's 11 o'clock, so I'm gonna try to go get me some lunch and stop at the post office. But I, I don't, <laughs> what? I don't get it. It's all over the place. And I, I'm still not clear what the sanatorium has to do with anything, except for maybe, I can't really say anything without giving it away. And once I finish it, I'm gonna finish it. I mean, I got this far. I have 24 minutes left. I'm on like chapter 90. The, the, the chapters are short, so there's that. Some of it was okay. It's super, super slow. Super slow. I'm just, I'm just unclear of, of why. I don't, I don't understand what, I mean, I some, <laughs> I can't, I, I can't explain my feelings without giving anything away. So I may do some spoilers after I completely finish it, but for now I'm stopping and I'm going to go see if I can get me something for lunch and yeah. Okay, I'll be back. <laughs> hey y'all. Uh, obviously it's very much later. It's 7.39 currently. I've done, finished my day of work, going to Jazzercise, and I'm back, I ate some cereal. I went through some of my um, uh, comments from yesterday's video. So uh, a wintry themed thriller video it is so that'll be that'll be coming up as soon as i can take time to record it or video it um y'all had some other great ideas as well so thank y'all always love y'all feedback on whatever i want to give you whatever you want <laughs> um so anyway so my day got really busy uh, i was able to go to the post office um i didn't go out and get me any lunch i just you know ate ate at home but um yeah, I was working on one task and it, it took me longer than expected. So once again, not a lot of footage today to, to show y'all. It was just me sitting in my desk working and I finished the sanatorium. Uh, I didn't really feel like getting into another book uh, today because I, this, I, had to, I had to settle. It, it had to settle for a little bit before I can jump right into something else. So I listen to, I think I mentioned this before, over the summer, it, there's a podcast called Radio Rentals. It's, it's freaky as I'll get out um, because it's, it's real stories of like events and things that have happened to real people. And they like, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. Like sightings and paranormal activity type things or like coming very close to serial killer kind of things. It's creepy. But yeah, it's called Radio Rental and it's put on by Payne Lindsay. Uh, Payne Lindsay, he does the Up and Vanished podcast. I really, I really like whatever he puts out, whatever he does. Um, I really enjoy it. But yeah, I, if you if you want some spookiness in your life and it's not spooky season, check out Radio Rental. It's insane. It's insanely like just creepy and freaky, and it like it kind of scared me. I had to make myself stop listening because I was getting scared. <laughs> because it's real stuff. It's real stuff that happened to real people, and that's that's the kind of stuff that. Whew, yeah, I can read it all day long in a book, but I don't. I don't want it to really happen. <laughs> um, okay, so anyway, getting back to the sanatorium. Um, I'm sad to report that I didn't like it. I I think I am going to drop my three star to a two star. I know. Uh, I'm sorry. And I, I, I know some of y'all did like it out there. And it's just how it is. Um, 
Some people like things, some people don't like things. You know, we're all very different. I appreciate the book though. Um, there were parts that I, I did like, like at first I was thinking, okay, this is okay, this is okay. But it, w it was super, super slow, which which I've, I've said. It, it seemed like, at points it seemed like it was getting somewhere and then it would just start to drag and go on and on. And um, I, 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 I would kind of lose myself, you know, like lose myself not in the story, out of the story. I would, you know, my mind would wander. And so when that happened, even if when I'm physically reading a book, if I'm not into it, my mind, I could be like reading on the page and my mind will be something else or somewhere else, not something else. <laughs> It'll be thinking about something else and somewhere else. Um, and that's kind of, that's kind of how I feel about this book. Like I just couldn't, like, it, it never really grabbed me. Um, and then, as things started to unfold, I I just felt like it was too much and all over the place. Too many hands in the fire, so to speak. I'm I'm trying I'm trying to do this without spoilers in case anyone has not read it and wants wants to read it. I I encourage you to read it. I mean, I encourage all books to be read. Uh, if, if you want to read it, if you have it on your TBR, if you already bought it, it read it. You may like it. Uh, it just wasn't for me. I, yeah, I don't really know what else to say without giving any spoilers away. I, I just, like I said, I felt like there was just like too many hands in the fire. I was kind of disappointed as, or disappointed in the fact that there wasn't more on the sanatorium. Like, I, I thought... I thought that's what this, you know, the story was going to be based on more than it was. I mean, I get it, but it's like you had to go through different people for different reasons. Like the actual, I it's like I can't, okay, spoilers uh, right here. So I'll, I will put a spoiler thing right here and when it goes away, that means no more spoilers. So, okay, we have, we had like, what was it, like two or three people involved? Okay, it all starts with Danielle, which is a French name for Daniel. Uh, I'm, I'm, yeah. Because we would we would call a man Daniel, not Danielle. Um, but they in the book he's called Danielle. That's what the narrator calls him anyway. He is the architect for the new hotel. He goes missing very before the the hotel was was done. He started. He went missing. We get a little prologue from uh, yeah a prologue from from him and. Um, what's happening, but you don't actually know what happens till later on in the book that, you know, he was killed. Um, the Adele chick that we were following for a little while in the beginning of the book, she goes missing and we don't hear from her no more after, like, she goes missing and you, you continue to follow her through the book and then obviously she gets killed and you get no more from Adele. So I'm like, where did she go? What was the point of her? Um, and then, okay, so then it, things start to unfold. So we have Cecile, who is the manager of the hotel. Um, Laura, or was it Laura or Lori? Laura? She was Isaac's fiance. Isaac is Ellen's brother. Ellen is our detective who we follow throughout the book. Um, she has a little backstory. Her and her brother have a little backstory. Um, they're not very close, but anyway, she goes to, they're supposed to I, I get together with them for their engagement or whatever. Lori works at the hotel. I don't know if she's like assistant manager. She's, you know, she's kind of up there in the, on the chain, but I'm really, I don't really remember exactly what her position was. Uh, she was under Cecile. Then there's Luca. 
Luca is actually like the owner of the hotel branch. She has other branches elsewhere. Uh, him, Luca and Danielle were best friends. In college, Cecile was raped by Danielle. And so say Luca was right there and knew what was going on, but yet he says that he didn't know anything. Uh, so Cecile is getting revenge on Luca and Danielle, but she has someone, she has someone else doing it for her. Okay, so then, then we throw in another character, Mar Margaret, Mar 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 Margot, I don't know, Margot, let's just call her Margot. She's also, I believe, like a housekeeper. She goes missing, but it turns out that she's part of it. Like, she, she's doing Cecile's dirty work. I'm so confused. <laughs> um, but she's, Margot agreed to do this because her... Someone in her family, I don't remember who, great, great aunt, great grandmother, I don't, I don't remember who, was someone that was tortured and killed at the sanatorium. The sanatorium was a place where uh, you went to be, get treated for tuberculosis. Um, and then there was like this underground cellar where doctors apparently did experimentations and killed mostly women and then buried them on the grounds. So that's about it as far as I know that has anything to do with the sanatorium. Through Margot, who is a minor character, mind you, who's doing the dirty work for Cecile, I think. Because, because later on in the book, it they state something about Margot didn't have, like she, she, there was she couldn't kill I, I don't I don't I don't know I see I don't even I don't even remember <laughs> um anyway I'm probably saying all this wrong but I just I see see what I mean there's like too much going on too many hands in the pot I mean I I get I get that you know you want revenge but I I just didn't I just didn't like how it all played out I guess you know that but again, that's just me, my opinion. I just, I, I wasn't, I, wa I just wasn't feeling it. Um, I, I just didn't like it. I didn't like how it all unfolded. Uh, I like, I like Ellen as, you know, a character and I hope she continues um, on the force because she was thinking about not returning as a detective, but obviously she's a great detective. Um, and this is like book one, so there's more, there's more books to come. Um, I don't think I'm going to continue with the series though. Um, we're, we're done with the spoilers. I'm not going to say any more, but, um, but yeah, I don't think I'm going to continue with the series. Sad to say I'm going to give it two stars. I was just disappointed. Um, I, I want I wanted more on the sanatorium and I didn't feel like, I didn't feel like I didn't feel like that was a good, um, <laughs> uh, it just didn't work for me. It just didn't work for me and that's okay. Uh, so anyway, that's my thoughts on the sanatorium. Don't know when I'm going to start next. Um, I do know that I'm ready to jump into the geek who saved Christmas because it is just adorable and I need, I need something happy today because after this book and then after listening to Radio Rental, I need something happy and bright and festive. <laughs> so I am going to uh, edit this video and get it up for y'all. Uh, sorry again, once today wasn't a lot of footage. Uh, I have a feeling the rest of the week is going to be the same because I have to get, I have a lot of work to do this week, but I will try my best <laughs> to make it as interesting as possible. So as always, thank y'all so much for, for watching. I'm so glad to hear that y'all are enjoying Vlogmas. 
Uh, thank y'all so much for tuning in. I appreciate it. I've been having a great time talking to y'all every day and interacting uh, through the comments. Hope you're all doing well out there and having a great holiday season so far. Y'all, we are just like almost just a week away from Christmas. It's crazy, crazy, and I'm, not, I'm still not done with my Christmas shopping. Uh, my sister-in-law and I are supposed to finish up Thursday after work. I'm gonna see if she wants to do an eight hour day instead of a nine hour day on Thursday. That way we can leave a little bit early and maybe beat some of the traffic. I don't know, we'll see how that goes. But anyway, I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye, y'all.